Hello American Heritage Girls, my name is Tate Robinson and today I'll be talking to you about the competitive sport cycling, specifically unicycling. This is a 24 inch unicycle, the most popular size of a unicycle. We are now going over the parts of the unicycle. Right here is the front and back bumper, then it has the seat, the seat post, seat post clamp, the frame, this is the crank and the pedals, and then these are all spokes coming to the rim, and then we have a tube inside this tire. This year at the NAUCC, my favorite events were road racing. They had the marathon, the 10K, and Criterion. This year, 2023, I am the North American champion for Criterion. Criterion is a very fun race. It is a race of speed and balance. It has lots of cones that forces you to weave in and out of and make quick turns. This unicycle is the same exact size as the unicycle I just showed you, except this unicycle is set up for road racing and track racing. You may ask, what's the difference? And I will tell you. This unicycle has this smaller seat with a bigger handle. It's a lot lighter and it's made for speed. This tire right here is about maybe even an inch wide, so it makes it a lot faster. And they made these cranks, they actually hollowed out the inside so that it's a lot lighter. And it's made out of only aluminum and stainless steel screws. I will use this unicycle for the 10K and all the track races. This unicycle is my long distance unicycle. I use this one to race in the marathon, which is 26.2 miles and even longer races. I actually just got back from a ride in the Florida Keys about 150 miles. This is a 36 inch unicycle, and because I often share the road with automobiles, I have upgraded some safety features. First, I have the brake. It is a really nice disc brake and can stop me really quick. And I also have a horn, and I have really nice lights, really bright, just in case. And I also have a backlight. All right, now we're gonna talk to you about road cycling safety gear. First. Every ride I've done is about probably a little over two hours or sometimes even longer. So you definitely need sunblock. And then next thing, we got a water backpack. So what's nice about this, I don't have to stop and get some water out of my bag. I can actually, it has a tube going up so I can just sip it whenever I want. So I don't have to stop and it saves a lot of time. And then I got a nice helmet just in case I fall. And same with the gloves really hurts to scrape up your hands and I got a nice bright green shirt just so everybody can see me and next I ride on the road a lot so I need a mirror just uh, in case like I have to pass a bike or something and then I got some nice cycling shorts because the rides are pretty long it gets kind of uncomfortable and then the next thing it's really bad you always want to tuck your shoestrings into the side of your shoe or even into the front if you want because by the time you know that it's caught up in your crank you're face planning so all right i know that since you've been watching this video you definitely want to learn how to ride a unicycle and right now i'm going to tell you how to pick the perfect size unicycle so the first thing for beginners the best unicycle is a 20 inch this right here is a 20 inch and i recommend buying one used on facebook marketplace or walmart Dot com or something like that and how you pick the perfect size you just you just get a allen key or even one of those other types of clamps and you just raise it and you want it to be level with your belly button and that's pretty much it thank you for watching please subscribe if you liked our video and we have lots of family friendly unicycling videos on our youtube page and if you have any questions comment below and Thank you for watching.